All right, next pro tip, using control shortcuts to apply self-formatting. So pretty simple one. This is a one-star tip, very straightforward. Point is you can access some of the common Excel number formats using control shortcuts with shift. So pressing control shift one or control exclamation point is going to format your selection as a common number format. Control shift two would format as time. Three would format as date. Four is currency. Five is percentage. And six is scientific. So like 10 to the X power, that's a scientific type of number format. And anytime you want to revert your formats back to kind of unformatted general style, you could use control shift tilde, uh, which is the key that I believe on most keyboards lives to the left of the number one. So here's a quick demo. We're going to practice this in Excel. Let's say you've got four columns like this, release date, Facebook likes, gross revenue, and ROI, all different types of formats in there. And you want to turn it into something like this, at least as a first pass. This is a great way to use the control shift shortcuts. You could select column A, use control shift three to turn those raw date values into properly formatted dates. You could use control shift one on column B to turn those Facebook likes into a standard number format. Control shift four would turn those gross revenue values into currency. And finally, control shift five would turn those raw decimals into actual percentage values. So the obvious use case here is really just to quickly apply those common number formats without using your mouse, without clicking, and without working through the format cells dialog box. So let's take two minutes and quickly practice applying some of these formatting shortcuts. All right, so if you've been following along, open up your Excel Pro Tip Excel file, head to your table of contents, and this is the first formatting tip, formatting shortcuts. Let's go ahead and click the link. It'll take you to the first kind of orange tab here, formatting shortcuts, and you'll see five columns very similar to the ones that I just described. Release date, movie likes, gross revenue, budget, and ROI. And as you can see, these are all kind of unformatted general style formats at this point. So all we need to do is remember those shortcut keys to actually convert these into formats that make more sense. So to start, let's go ahead and select all of column A and use the control shift three shortcut. And that's gonna turn those raw date values into dates that are actually a bit more readable. And you may or may not like the default date format that it selected for you. Um, so from here, you can either right click and go into your format options. I like the control one shortcut to get to the same place. And you can go ahead and choose date and maybe format it uh, something like this, which personally I prefer a bit more. Now let's go to Facebook likes, right? Standard number format. Um, all we need to do here is control shift one. And there you go. It's added the decimal with two placeholders, the comma between a thousand separators. Again, maybe it's not your favorite format, but you can go ahead in your home menu here. You know, in this case, maybe you want to get rid of those decimal places. And there you have it. Gross revenue and budget, these are both currency. So let's go ahead and hold shift, grab column D so that I've got both at once. Do a little bit of a two for one special here. Control shift four, which is the dollar sign. And that applies the currency format. Again, I don't really have this data at the cents level. It's just rounded to the dollar. So I can go ahead and remove those decimals. Last but not least, let's select column E. Control shift five which you guessed it is the percentage symbol. And there you go. Now we've got a properly formatted uh, percentage here in column E. So remember, if you want to go back and revert these to uh, kind of a general unformatted style, we could just select all of this data A through E and use the control shift tilde option to take us right back to where we started. Or we could control Z to undo that change. And there you go. We've got our proper formats. So quick primer on how to use those control shortcuts to quickly format your cells.